Hey guys, Knox here from Knox Locks with a beautiful bare bones unboxing. So, <clears throat> there's lots and lots of goodies in here, both known, unknown, hidden, and expected. For demonstration purposes, I ordered this beautiful double cutaway. I'm not going to get all up in the camera now with it, that's for a later time, but while I do have a little sledge, one of my own, I don't have one of this making, I don't have a Euro cylinder, comes with extra pins, a really cool uh, bare bones key, I dig it. So I got a nice little uh, lock there to help demonstrate how security pins work, like I'd like to. Okay, I got a bunch of different handles. I mean, like, a plethora of handles. Pretty much almost every handle they make from my favorite, the femur. This is the femur 2.0. Or as I call the Franken femur. With the extra bolts. Damn, brought it back to life, baby. Game changer, I'm telling you. You're going to see. Uh, these are the handles for law lock tools. Hopefully try to help them. Be uh, a little better, you know, user friendly. Those serrations on the sides, man, they really uh, dig into your hands sometimes, unfortunately. So uh, hopefully these, you know, handle scales will be able to go on top of there and provide a, not only layer of protection, but a cool little uh, bare bones guy staring at you. Hey, of all times, I should have a skelly out here. I think this was, like should have probably been the video. <laughs> Uh, here's my namesake, the coffin handles, as named by Knox Locks, and there is going to be an awesome new, uh, color as far as ghost in a minute. So, I guess I'll give you a breakdown real quick. It used to be old school print in black and white. So, for me, I would use black for 23000 and then white for... 15,000 and then this one here I show you see how I have one on each side that meant it was 20,000 so that was little Knox edition right there that was something I did anyways he's upgraded to, you know updated the game as far as that right there is black with white fleck show you a little better up close difference and I'll show you the okay so that's white with black fleck and that's black with white fuck. So basically it's just specs or stripping, but uh, I like it, dude. I dig it. It's a break from the uh, from the classics. Now, I am more than sure you probably already know what these guys here are. Dimples. Now, this here is a bone roll. <clears throat> but not just any old bone roll. First of all, they're specs. Which is cool, meaning the black speck and the white speck, dig it. But hiding amongst these dimples is the awesome. As of right now, only three people on the planet have this. Me, Pocket Woman, and Cranky. So, as of right now, I'm the only person in North America. I believe Pocket Woman is the only person in Australia. And I believe Cranky is the only person in the UK. Mark's got uh, dominated, man. <laughs> Prepare for chess. But you can already see, man, once you insert in that pick, I mean, this isn't the femur uh, video for that, but, yo, know, game changer, dude. Game, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, no, no, you're not, but I'll tell you anyways. Knox, why would you order two things at Dimple Flags? Well, Knoxtober's coming up, baby. So, <clears throat> my idea is I'm going to take the two if you see there's small, medium, and large flags I'm going to take the two large ones for someday uh, shaving down and shaping for myself if need be but I'm giving you the four basic profiles so that's something else I'm adding to the Noxtober giveaways so that's, I'm just stacking the awesomes, I know I know, I can't help it I'm cool like that. This is something Mark actually thrown in. This is his new 
20,000 ghost set. So, <clears throat> as you saw in my Chrome to Bone videos, I won the Locky Award. Thank you, guys. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. It was the best giveaway, not the educational one. So it was Locky Award nominated video, Chrome Your Bones. So these here are 20,000. And you know what? I think I'm going to make a beautiful monkey's paw. And I'm going to put it in one of the new handles to complete the 20,000 lineup. Boom, what a beautiful idea. See what I'm saying? It happens so quick with bare bones. These handles are awesome, dude. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Some other things I got for myself. As well, there is one to give away. Do you see him staring at you? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I see? Keyless entries. Bearless bones. I like how he's staring at you through the box. <laughs> I dig it. But uh yeah, I'll be having one of these for the October giveaway too. See? He's, uh, he's walking away now. He's watching you, man. He wants to see how good your picking skills are, whether or not he should be nervous. Now, I got a couple clear locks here. One for a friend and one for someone else to uh, swap out should they win the October giveaway. I always have a trade up or a trade down option if you're not happy with the uh, body bags that I make. Here's some other handles as far as... Let's see, I got the bone yoke. I got the... Um, this one's a basic white femur, just with the uh, the new 2.0 drill. What is this one? This is the uh, something bone. <laughs> You're right. Oh, that narrowed it down. Oh, that narrowed it down a lot. It's not the bone yoke. That one's over here. This one. Uh, it's not the rib bone. It's not the. Here's an idea, Mark, too. That's what I was thinking would be a game changer. If you could print out these with one of these little metal skeletons laying down, so, like, when the printing process is, like, halfway here, I guess you, <clears throat> you lay one of these little metal babies down in there and then let the ghost print it on top of him. I think that'd be cool if you have a little metal, you know, a little metal, metal skeleton, you know? True coffin style, like my namesake handles. <laughs> Awesome Australia flag. Now, <clears throat> this is cool. He threw in some extra nuts and bolts here in case I want to Franken femur my old school uh, femur handles, which I might do, or I might honestly just fill them up with glue and pick one particular pick and just dedicate that one forever. Uh, this is part of for. Well, I'm trying to think. I ordered one kit for my boy Dave, the guy who helps me make all these videos and the uh, beginnings and endings of my videos, my graphics guy, and all these awesome pack locks. It comes from Dave. So I believe this kit's Dave's. And then Mark was cool enough to throw this in. This is a bare bones. Think of it as like a covert companion, the empty uh, thing, and there's even spacers and washers to fill it up with, but it's bare bones, and you know, my southern specialties, little mini kit, that would actually go quite well in here. I mean, that has the, uh, the wafer locks, the water locks, the comb picks, the regular picks, the quad peaks, like, ooh, that could be a nice little, uh... Bare bones covert companion thing. I'm gonna have to think about that. That might be a project. Um, okay, I got some. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know offhand if this is the radius or the ulna, but it's the bigger one for dimple locks. And the dimple clear lock is in my room actually because I've been practicing. <laughs> and then um, these are injector pins in case I wanted to make my own. Here is the unboxing. Get ready for more videos and remember. Anything is possible when everything is unlockable. Bare Bones Deep Dive 2.0, baby.